Hello, hello, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check my website, ethanren.com, from there you can find links to all my various socials. While you're on my website, make sure to check out my blog. I'm regularly updating it with new information. And I also have an online shop where you can buy shirts, hats, bags, stickers. Make sure to check that out. I'd really appreciate it. Just to, as an example, when, when you come to my website, at the top there's a blog and you can click on an article you see value in. For an example, here is the trusty history of VTI, which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. There's a bunch of information about the product as well as its top holdings. And every different blog post we does has its own unique video that coincides with it. So again, I would really appreciate if you guys go and check that out. So what is the product we're going to be talk talking about next? Well, DRN. What is DRN? DRN is the Direxion Daily Real Estate Bull 3X sh Shares. Okay, so basically, if you guys did not see what the symbol we just covered on my YouTube channel, there's going to be a video for symbol XLRE directly above this one. XLRE, and that is the real estate here. Let's just quickly browse that first. This is the XLRE. This is the Real Estate Select Sector SPDR Fund. This symbol represents a lot of REITs or real estate investment companies. Companies that have a large amount of holdings in real estate, whether it be for apartments, whether it be for like storage units, whether it be commercial brick and mortar that like a franchisee like Zoomies or Hollister might rent out. You know, these are all examples of different real estate companies. And by buying into uh, electronically traded products such as XLRE or even DRN, you could gain exposure to the real estate market. It's pretty interesting. Um, now, DRN is a 3x leveraged ETF, and we cover a lot of these on my channels. So it's important to note that leveraged ETFs are not for everyone. This is maybe more for a more advanced investor. So I highly recommend taking a step back, asking yourself, is trading leveraged something that you're familiar with or comfortable doing before you potentially take a position in DRN? So when covering uh, leveraged ETFs, I typically advise not to do your technical analysis in the leveraged ETF itself and instead would incline you to do your analysis in the underlying again so xlre so if you see value in drn i highly recommend going to look at our xlre video to further explain what we kind of see value in here with xlre but as you can see we're currently projecting as much as a 48.17 percent gain in the xlre which then if we come back to drn would translate to as much as a 153% gain in DRN, give or take a few percentage points. Now, that would bring the price of DRN up from its current $9 all the way to as high as $20.92. Not bad, not bad. As you can see, there's kind of like a bit of decay on a symbol like this. This is very common in... Uh, leveraged ETFs that the, the the mechanisms and the rebalancing that they're doing to be able to extend you the 3x leverage that they do will often cause there to be a little bit of drift or decay in the price over long periods of time but you should still still feel relatively comfortable holding this for what could be a period of one to two years easily as you can see this particular symbol makes these laps quite frequently you see here as much as a 367% lap, 131% uh, lap, a 181% lap, a 270% lap, a 500% lap. So this symbol makes these enormous moves quite often. And if you're quite savvy and, you know, time your entries and ex exits well, you're able to capitalize on some of this. What are some of the other reasons that I see value in a symbol such as DRN? Well, if you look over here, it has a dividend yield of 2 percent six eight percent not quite as good as xlre itself but still very very solid re relative to a lot of sectoral especially leveraged etfs leverage etfs don't really offer dividends like that but i feel like this one offers a good dividend because if you look at a lot of real estate companies 
most all of them offer great dividends and have really good financials, like really good profit margins range anywhere from like 15% to 40%. So it's really strong. Um, on top of that, I touched on the fundamentals a little bit in the XLRE video. I highly recommend you watching it. But it, it, if we look at this 2020 period, it's quite clear to see over the past year, year and a half that real estate has had quite a significant pullback. Again, this is a 3x leverage ETF, so it says like 75%, but it was closer to maybe like 30% that it, it saw during this time period. The, the, the reason for this pullback is we went from a relatively low interest rate period where interest rates were what, like 1%, like zero, like extremely low. But during 2022 specifically, we started to see aggressive increases in rates uh, by the Federal Reserve. And what what this does is it brought the the rates as high as 5.5 to 6%. Again, if you're in the Discord, we have an economic data channel that gets regularly and automatically updated. So you could look at that as well. But when it comes to real estate, you have your fixed rate mortgages and your floating rate mortgages. When rates are high, it becomes harder to get uh, money. Your, your access to money becomes more expensive. So if it, if if right now you're trying to potentially get a loan for a house, whether it be a personal house or like a commercial investment, you're going to be paying a significantly higher rate on your mortgage than you would have been maybe two years ago, which cuts into your potential profitability or your return on investment when you're trying to benefit in these real estate markets. Now, the same thing can be said for the floating rate mortgage. For example, if you in 2022, we're enjoying paying, I'm going to say a random number, 2%, 3% uh, on, on your mortgage, but all of a sudden there's been these aggressive increases in interest rates, which there had been over the past year. Your floating rate mortgage, like you're seeing this in, in, in your mortgage payments every month or so, every, whatever your payment schedule looks like, you're seeing this increase. And right now you're probably even though you were paying two to three percent when you originally signed for your flow floating rate mortgage now you could be paying as much as five percent four percent six percent like in in that range because that's how flow floating rate mortgage works and we've had these increases in rates but now again we've gone through this period of over a year of inc increasing rates we've seen headlines from the federal reserve saying they're looking to potentially not increase but potentially maybe hold flat for a, for a period of time which is indicating they're not going to be increasing rates as aggressively or they're potentially hitting a peak in their rate cycle and we're going to potentially be entering into a period of decreasing interest rates and it's because of this that we as investors need to start thinking about man allocating money to sectors of the economy that are going to benefit from a decreasing rate environment moving forward so we are if we are at the top of the rate increase cycle and we are projecting decreases or at the very least flat rates moving forward we want to be positioning our portfolios in a way that's going to benefit from these De from a decreasing rate environment and something like drn allows you to leverage your exposure to real estate which would be one of the primary sectors that will see this benefit in this decreasing rates because again if right now companies who invest in real estate or even home buyers are getting quoted a five percent a six percent rate on their mortgage and then if they if they take the floating rate and then rates start coming down, they're going to be used to paying that 5 to 6%, but they're going to instantly see a decrease in their payments as their rates come down to maybe 3%, 4%, 2%. So that's one way that you'll expect to get a higher ROI on your real estate investments going forward. Um, another way would be as those rates come down, fixed rate mortgage, you'll be able to get better fixed rate mortgages that are going to cost less in terms of interest, which again will increase the ROI from all of these various REITs, all these various real estate companies moving forward. So again, XLRE, XLRE is your primary real estate sector ETF. This is where you want to be doing your research. And then once you feel comfortable about taking a position in a product such as this, <clears throat> 
to the point where you want to leverage it, you can use DRN to leverage into this market. I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. I, I feel like I forgot to show the top holdings for XLRE. So I'm going to show them here in this video, DRN. These are the top holdings for symbol XLRE. And as you can see, they have Prologis, PLD, American Tower Co., AMT, Equinox, EQIX, Crown Castle, CCI, Public Storage, PSA. That's a pretty cool symbol. Um, Realty Income Corp. A lot of people like O. I feel like they like O more than me. After this, I'm going to be showing you two of my favorite companies that are represented in this underlying XLRE. But a lot of people like O. They're, they are a great company. They have a great dividend. With that being said, Well Tower Inc. Symbol Well. That's a cool symbol. Simon Property Group. VC Properties and Digital Realty Trust. So these are the top 10 holdings of XLRE. It's important to keep in mind your top 10 holdings because when you buy an ETF, I mean, you're really buying the underlyings, right? You're really buying the underlyings. So it's important to have a general idea of what, what you're holding there. Okay. Give me one moment. Um, I'm going to move into our next symbol here.